Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to be showing you our current inbox manager setup that we're using at Borks.io. With that being said, let's just get right into the video. Now for those of you who are unfamiliar with me or my agency, if this is your first time seeing me, I run a lead generation agency called Borks.io. We primarily do cold email for a ton of clients and obviously you know, when you do cold email for 20, 30, 40 different people and you have 50 to 100 inboxes per client, you guys can imagine that it does get pretty crazy when you have to inbox manage all of these different inboxes effectively, right? Now, for those of you who've done a lot of cold email before, you guys also know that the amount of time that you take in, you know, to respond to a lead is very, very important, right? The difference between responding to a lead in 15 minutes and responding to a lead in one hour is astronomical, right? Even on a, even on a short time frame like that, I mean, you know, the difference is like night and day, right? You could book twice as many meetings if you just respond in 50 minutes rather than, in, you know, one hour. So that's kind of one of the reasons why we had this built out. Uh, for those of you who don't. Hey, we're going to get right back to the video in just a minute. Just take a look at this. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar, I have a paid community. It's called Lead Academy. It's $49 a month. That comes out to be $1.63 a day. For those of you who don't know, that gets you direct access to me and my partner, Tyler, to ask anything you'd like, weekly live coaching calls, tutorials, and tools on how to scrape several platforms like Crunchbase, GetLotka, Agency Vista Clutch, Good Firms, several hours of on-demand course material, access to store leads and built with for completely free, personal help with your cold email scripts, help with cold email deliverability, help with creating effective angles and offers for your outreach, access to ready-to-use SOPs and training, access to dozens of people who are running businesses just like yours, website and landing page templates, video sales letter templates, access to our real sales calls and real onboarding videos, a real uncensored look into the inner workings of Borks.io, access to all sorts of content, including how to build a personal brand, how to grow on YouTube and Twitter, help with generating inbound quality leads, an inside look into how we're automating, how we're automating and streamlining complex tasks like inbox management and sales process and so much more. So if that's something you're interested in, it's going to be the first link in the description and let's get right back to the video. I don't know what you're looking at. This is a custom Airtable interface, right? For those of you who don't know what Airtable is, uh, Airtable is a project management tool, right? It's similar to Monday, similar to all those tools, um, but you can actually build custom interfaces on here, right? And what you're looking at right now is a custom interface. This is almost like a SaaS product within itself that was built out specifically for us by an automations agency and we're able to manage everything in here. Now, Obviously, we have inbox managers who are managing this in real time. So that's why there's only one email in a waiting response. But I have this one email here just as an example to show you guys how this looks. Now, this one is just an out of office email, so it's nothing crazy. But as you can imagine, right now, there's people who are sitting in here and they have a bunch of emails here. And whenever an email comes in, it'll come into this list, right? Now, this Airtable interface actually interacts with Smartlead's API. For those of you who don't know, Smartlead is a cold email sending tool. That's what we use for all of our clients, for all of our email sending. And whenever Smartlead gets a response, it automatically forward here, like through an automation. Now, every time an email comes in, you're gonna have like tabs here, which just come in and basically they populate this table. Now, the point of having this is you can inbox manage in completely one click, meaning this person responded, they said, hello, I'm out of office returning Monday, 8th, April, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Let's say this wasn't an out of office reply. Let's say this reply was an interested reply. The person asked this question. You can come right here into custom response and say, hey, uh, what's this person's name? It's Victoria. Hey, Victoria, how's it going? Right. I can type this in and click send response. And this is going to go and on my behalf, send this response on smart lead. Okay. Now, besides that, you can also act in a couple different ways. You can categorize that response in several different ways by opportunity, lost, asset requested, interested, or out of office. Now, if I click one, that means that we've booked a meeting with this person. When we book the meeting with this person, obviously our agency works on a complete commission basis, uh, meaning it's completely on a paper call. So um, that starts getting counted towards our revenue for that client. And we know how to bill our clients depending on how many meetings we book. Lost means the person's not interested. Asset requested means that they've requested some sort of lead magnet. For those of you who watch my other videos, you know that we often do 
different value, different loom videos, different documents, not so much loom videos and documents anymore, but we used to do a lot of it. Now it's more like tangible value that we're giving away, but that's what this is for. And when I click asset requested, the client will actually get a notification automatically with a form um, to deposit the asset that they promised into there. And then when they submit that form that comes to us, we have that asset and we send it off to the prospect. So it's very, it's systematizing how you do outreach, right? If you click interested, that doesn't do anything behind the scenes except move it to another category. This is usually when someone asks a follow-up question, we'll mark them as interested because they obviously are interested. And then out of office, um, what out of office does is when you click it, it will take that lead, remove it from this category, put it in the out of office category, and then follow up automatically in 10 days. That's how that works. Okay. Now in this situation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click asset requested just so you guys can see what would happen. Now, this is the only email currently in awaiting responses. So nothing happened. When I clicked it. If there had been more emails here, you would legitimately just go to the next email automatically. And you could just use these five buttons right here to basically inbox manage this entire thing. You just click boom, 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 and just quickly inbox manage. It's literally 10 times faster than just using smart lead. Now, then we have another section called positive reply. Now this right here is where you have the positive replies for the campaigns that we currently have running. Now, Victoria is here right now, as you can see, Victoria Morton, and like I can click on another one. This is a, this is Sevilla at Dixon. Wait, isn't this, this sounds familiar. I'm just curious. What is this? Oh, wow. Some sort of short company. I don't know. It's not familiar, but basically you can see this is another interested, interested lead. Some ideas, this was the subject line that we use. And then they responded, hi, Christian, or email body from, I have three ideas. Yes, I'd be happy. And this is the conversation history. So you can see what we talked to them about in here, right? And if you go to another one, you'll see right here. It's interesting that you reached out to us as we had much interest in our little company lately. Uh, we very well might have be open to discussions. What do you suggest? Blah, 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 right? And um, that's how it works. So each one of these is, a, is is individual conversation for an individual client, right? You could see here, this one is R&B. That's one of our clients, Intelligence Media. That's another one of our clients, Cage Brokers, right? And then there's so on. There's a bunch of different clients that we have. Now for this one in particular, right? Here, there's now a different page, right? So obviously from a waiting response to here, that's a different page. You can see that now we have opportunity status. Here you can either win or lose because obviously they can't be out of office now because we've already gotten them this stage. If we book a call, it's one. If we don't book a call, it's lost right? You can also change the category and which they're currently in automatically from here. And you can send form assets a customer clicking. This will actually email our customer and also send it in a Slack. And that will basically tell the customer to fill out this form. Open master inbox will actually open up this conversation directly on smart lead. So it's like a, just a convenient way to get there. It's not loading right now, obviously, because I'm recording a video, so it has to not work, but you can see that it says smart lead. It should work if I click it again. Okay. Or I guess not. It won't work while I'm, I'm, while I'm recording a video, but long story short, you can see that even if you like hovered over it, you can see in the bottom left of my screen that it's taking me to smart lead, right? I can also do a custom response here. If I want to, I can also do like an AI assisted response. We don't really use this much just cause, uh, we would, we don't really prefer to use AI in our, in our stuff, but this is something that's available. Hey, I hope this, you know, great time in office. I wanted to share some personalized info. I created for your business. Check it out here. And you put the link in and that's how it works. Right. But again, we don't really use that much. We usually just respond custom or we can initiate a subsequence directly, meaning it won't just send the first message. It'll also follow up automatically for you. So you can kind of take away the, you know, the, um, workload from following up manually. Okay. And that's kind of how that works. Now you can see in here, we have both asset requested and the interested category. Now deliver asset is empty because this is where the leads go. When the customer has completed an asset and we have to deliver it, obviously we take this very seriously. So there's never anything in here that is in here for very long meeting requested are people that are currently interested in doing a meeting. These are people that are interested in a meeting, but we haven't booked yet. Okay. So they're kind of just in that weird stage. Then archive is just archive people. So for example, thank you for your email. I'm no longer working the product chain team, whatever. These are just archived emails. And then out of office are people who are currently out of office, right? And then these people are going to get the automatic follow-up later down the line. So in essence, that's how the inbox manager works. I honestly wish that uh, there wasn't so much inbox managing happening as we speak. So I can actually show you guys at scale how effective it is to inbox manage because 
when you have like a thousand emails in here that you have to respond to, when you're on Smartly and you have to click multiple buttons every single time, it really starts to add up in terms of how much time it takes. When you can completely inbox manage an entire system by literally clicking one button at a time and it automatically goes to the next email, right? It makes a big difference, right? And if you guys want to kind of just like grasp and here, here another response came in while I was just talking, right? Another idea. Um, if you want to grasp how much time you could save, if you had something like this, next time you're inbox managing, just imagine going through everything, time, how much time it takes you. And then imagine if instead of every single time changing their category, clicking reply, typing it in, clicking enter, you could just one button at a time. Boom, 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 right? At scale, it saves a lot of time. So that's how it works. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video. Uh, as always, this is a small channel. So if this is something that you found valuable, if this was something that was helpful, please like and subscribe. I literally notice every single person 